Hi friends, in this video we are discussing one of the important topic in the vector integral calculus that is divergence theorem. Okay, divergence theorem now we are discussing. Straightforward, I will explain in this video statement of the divergence theorem and formula of the divergence theorem, Cartesian form of the divergence theorem. Right, coming to the divergence theorem, friends this divergence theorem also known as Gauss divergence theorem. Gauss divergence theorem. Right. Before writing the statement, directly I will write the formula. You see, based on the formula, we will write the statement. The formula we have, Gauss divergence theorem formula we have, integral over S, F bar dot N bar dS is equal to integral V del dot F dv also called as divergence of dv divergence of f bar dv is it clear now this is the formula for the gauss divergence theorem observe left side what we have surface integral and right side what we have volume integral so the divergence theorem is a relation between surface to volume of course you can say volume to surface also the relation between surface to volume is a gauss divergence theorem now how to write the statement from this formula? I will see friends, f bar dot n bar ds is equal to integral v dive f bar dv. Nothing but here, the statement is, once I will, I will write the formula and based on that, uh, I will tell the statement. Okay, now you see, how to write the statement means, left side what you have actually, surface integral. Yes or no? Surface integral over s. Now friends, you see, in a surface integral, in a surface integral, the normal component of a vector function f bar in a closed surface, yes, in a, surf, in a surface integral, the normal component of a vector function in a closed surface, yes, it should be a closed, is equal to the divergence of same vector f bar in a volume v, in, taken over a volume v, bounded by the surf, enclosed by a surface, yes. Okay, I will repeat again, you see, I will write also, here I will write and then I will repeat. So, this is the statement of the Gauss divergence theorem, statement of the Gauss divergence theorem and formula for the Gauss divergence theorem. In the exam, if they are asking like, uh, state the Gauss divergence theorem, then first uh, you write the statement and you need to write the formula. If you don't know the statement directly, then what you have to do means, first uh, you leave for a 4 to 5 line space and then you write the formula and uh, after that you write the statement based on the formula how you can write a form, uh, statement i'll tell you now you see here what you have left side surface integral so the gauss divergence theorem states that the surface integral of the surface integral the surface integral of normal component of a vector point function f bar over a closed surface yes is equal to the divergence of same vector f bar taken over a volume v taken over a volume v enclosed by a closed surface yes is it clear statement is clear i have written here you see the surface integral of normal component of a vector point function f bar over a closed surface s yes, is equal to the divergence of that vector point function over a volume v enclosed by the surface yes okay now now, Cartesian form of the Gauss divergence theorem. Friends, uh, the, what is the relation between uh, Gauss divergence theorem here? The relation between surface integral and volume integral. Surface integral and volume integral. Next, friends, S should be a closed curve here. S should be a closed surface. Sorry, S is a closed surface. Then only you can apply the divergence theorem. Okay, friends, this divergence theorem actually, uh, three-dimensional space, uh, three, in three-dimensional space, it is a green theorem. Okay, of course, uh, you are, uh, that is not in our part of syllabus. Anyway, now coming to the Cartesian form. Cartesian form is, left, let f bar is equal to f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k. Then, we have right side dive f bar. Na? So, dive f bar is del dot f bar. Nothing but it is a scalar point function. Do f1 by do x plus do f2 by do y plus do f3 by do z. Now, RHS part is clear. Now, we have to write the, LHS part. In the LHS part, what we have actually? N bar. So, N bar is what here? N bar is a outward unit normal 
vector. N bar is a outward unit normal vector. Actually, here this N bar we can also write as N cap. Sorry, N cap here. N cap is here cos alpha i plus cos beta j plus cos gamma k. Where alpha beta comma be the angles which the outward drawn unit normal vector N bar makes a positive direction along the x, y, z axis respectively. Right. You see then cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma are direction cosines of n bar. Right. In this case, we have f bar and now n bar, n cap. Now f bar dot n cap is equal to, you see, i dot i. You will get a 1, nothing but here, f1 cos alpha plus f2 cos beta plus f3 cos gamma. Okay. So now you have f bar dot n bar and also del dot del uh, del dot f bar dv yes or no now in this case double integral over s yes, double integral over s yes, f bar dot n bar is nothing but f1 cos alpha plus f2 cos beta plus f3 cos gamma f3 cos gamma into ds is equivalent to triple integral of del dot f dv is what dou f1 by dou x plus dou f2 by dou y plus dou f3 by dou z. Okay now, into dv, into dv. Now, here dv you can also write as dv is equal to dx dy dz. dv is equal to you can also write as dy dx dz. In the exam, if they are asking uh, write the statement, then no need to write this Cartesian form. Only you write down the formula integral over s f bar dot n bar ds is equal triple integral v dive f bar dv and the statement already we are discussing that one you need to write okay thank you for watching this video